Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday in my region last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Insider Preview build, 26200.5670, to the Dev Channel, and that was released with the update KB5060838, and this was actually an important update for the Dev Channel. So just a quick video to look at the new features that have rolled out for the Dev Channel. Now, first of all, there are now passwordless improvements. With Microsoft saying it has now partnered with 1Password to bring users a seamless plugin passkey provider integration in Windows 11. And Microsoft says that if you'd like to try this out, the setup is simple. So what you would do is you would install 1Password beta on your Windows PC, your Windows 11 PC. You would then head to settings, passkeys, advanced options to enable the plugin credential manager. You would then toggle on support and complete user verification with Windows Hello. So that would be face, fingerprint or PIN. And once that's done, you can now use your existing passkeys saved to the plugin credential manager or save new passkeys. And Microsoft says to use a passkey, you would head over to a website where you have an account with a passkey you've saved to your credential manager and select the passkey and then you would sign in with Windows Hello. And you can save new passkeys to your credential manager by going to a website that supports passkeys. Find the option to create a passkey for your account. Choose to save your credential manager. Authenticate with Windows Hello and your passkey according to Microsoft is saved. So quite a lot going on with this feature with 1Password and those passwordless improvements. And at the beginning of the video, I said this was an important update for the dev channel. And the reason is because with this build, Windows Insiders in the dev channel will see the versioning updated under setting system about and WinVer about Windows to version 25H2 with Microsoft saying that this denotes that Windows 11 version 25H2 will be this year's annual feature update. And I posted on this yesterday a whole video that Microsoft had officially confirmed 25H2. I'll leave that link down below in the end screen. And Windows 11 will have an annual feature update cadence that releases in the second half of the calendar year. So that's official now. Check the video out for more info. And also the build 26200 will be the build for 25H2. And then Microsoft says for voice access, it's temporarily disabling support for Japanese to iron out a few more bugs. And the last one to mention for this video is in addition to the small changes Microsoft says that it made in the EEA region for default browsers under settings apps default apps. In a previous build, it's also making this change. The new default browser will be pinned to the taskbar and start menu unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. And to some extent or the other, that's already rolling out to the stable version. And over and above that, guys, we get the normal fixes rolling out for the dev channel. And we also get known issues because it is still early days. And once again, for last week, the dev and the beta channel were almost identical builds, which seems to be happening now on a greater scale. So dev and beta were very similar. The only difference with dev, as mentioned, is that Microsoft has updated the version in the dev channel to version 25H2. So that was an important update as mentioned. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.